Welcome to Bot Sailor. In this video, we'll show you how to send a WhatsApp message when an Elementor form submission is received. We will create a contact form on Elementor and integrate it with Bot Sailor to send WhatsApp messages instantly. You can create any kind of form and send a WhatsApp message when you receive the form submission. Let's see how to do that by using the Bot Sailor. First, we will create a message template. To create a message template, go to the Bot Manager and then click on Message Template. We will use a variable on the message template. So, let's create the variable first. To create a variable, click on the Create button from the template variables. Give a name to the variable. Save it. Just refresh the page once. Let's create a message template. Click on the Create button. Give a name to the template. Write the body of the message. We can use the user's name on the message. We will also use the variable message in the message body. Save the template. Let's check the status of the template. Yes, it is approved. Now, let's go to the webhook workflow. Click on the Create button. Give a name to the workflow. Select the WhatsApp account. Then, select the message template that we have just created. Now, click on the Create Workflow button. It will generate a callback webhook URL. Now, we have to go to the WordPress admin dashboard. From there, go to Elementor, and then click on Getting Started. Click on the Create Your First Page button. In the Search widget, search for the form. Drag the form and insert it onto the canvas. We will change the email field to a phone number. First, change the type to number, instead of email. Change the label and the placeholder. Now, go to the form's actions after submit. On the add action, select webhook. Then select webhook. Here, we will put the webhook URL from the bot sailor. Finally, click on the publish button. Now, let's test the form. Before we send data, we need to click on the Capture Webhook response on the Bot Sailor. Let's click on the Send button. It may take a while to capture the data. We have got the sample raw data. Now, we have to configure the Webhook response mapping. Let's select the phone number. We can use Formatter for phone numbers if we need any. We are not using a formatter for this instance. Now, let's select the value for the username variable. Then, select the value for the message variable. Finally, click on the Save Workflow button. Now, let's check if it's working or not. If we go to Bot Sailor and check the report, we will see that the campaign has been created. It may take a while to complete the process. Let's go to WhatsApp. Yes, we have received the message. So, this is how we can send a WhatsApp message when we receive an Elementor form submission. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.